Hi, my name is Tony King and I am a professional bocce ball player. I'm making this film here to prove to my mom that I can make it. Today, I'm going to prove to you I'm a professional bocce ball player. There looks like there's a lot of balls here, but there's actually only two kinds of playing balls. This is called uh, the palino, which is, uh, well, you'll see what it's for. My mom told me once that she didn't think being a professional bocce ball player was gonna earn me any money, but actually, just this year, and it's only been half the year, it's like what? Well, it's for throwing, because, but it's not like the other balls. The other balls are also for throwing, What's the month that comes after April? June. Like, this is one of just, this is just a, a bocce ball. It's, you throw it. Um, um, and then there's also a pink palino. I think it's just in case I lose the other one. And I guess they wanted to know if I lost the red one that I lost the red one and not the pink one. A, B, C, D. It's May. Why aren't you going? Oh, um, so typically bocce ball is played at the beach, but I don't have a beach here, so I just kind of walked out to this trail. We've got, so that's like the Mississippi equivalent of a beach. Um, I wouldn't go around here in my bathing suit though, or anywhere. I'm really pale. Just this month, or up, just only up until this month, I have actually earned one dollar this year playing bocce ball. So, to start playing the game, first you need this ball. This is like the golden snitch, but it doesn't fly, and it's not golden, and it's not a snitch. I was going to play bocce ball with somebody, and I was like, I bet you one dollar I'll win, and I won. It was one time. Um, basically, you kind of throw this ball, a distance and then you throw the other balls and you try to get as close to this ball as you can. Tony's okay at bocce ball. So now I'm gonna throw it and I will demonstrate to you how to throw the ball. Honestly, I really thought I was going to beat him. <coughs> Hi. I'm not Tony anymore. Uh, so I'm going to try to get as close to the little palino as I can now. <coughs> this is my pre-bachi ritual. I studied with a famous bocce ball player and he always did this. <clears throat> Hi, I'm not Tony anymore. I'm Anthony. And then you throw it. I'm Anthony. I'm going to tell you what not to do and be a bad bocce ball player. I just want to show my mom that I am very knowledgeable about this sport. Here I want to show you something. This is a very desirable outcome when you're playing bocce ball. As you can see here, there's only about this much in between the yellow ball and the palino. A good bocce ball player is not me, so I'm not, I can't do that. Um, and I don't have to argue the validity of the sport because it's obviously a very valid and profitable sport. A bad bocce ball player does something like this. Like you, you think I'm good at bocce ball, right? And so about this much is a lot better than about this much but not as good as this much, but since that's the closest I got, the closest anybody got, I would have won that match. You wanna play like a game right now? I'll bet you a dollar I can win. Okay, I'm Tony again, and I just showed you the perfect example of a bad bocce ball player, and that's not me. 
That's Anthony. I'm Tony, and I'm a great botchball player.